Hey everyone, this is Arvin, and today we are going to calculate bond prices. After the calculation of bond prices, what I'm going to do is I will also calculate the risk in bonds, particularly interest rate risk and uh, value at risk as well. So first, we are going to import library. Import NumPy as NP. Here today I'm going to import one more library, which is particularly related to the calculation of bond prices. And thanks to NumPy, they have provided us this library. So it's gonna be NumPy underscore financial as NPF. Okay, so let's run this. So what's the formula? we have for the calculation of bond prices. So let me just bring it from Google for you. Now, in order to calculate bond prices, we need a monthly, quarterly, or semi-annually, whatever it is, the coupon payment. We need number of payments, interest rate, or required yield, as well as we need value or par at maturity. Alrighty, so now what we are going to do here is we are going to calculate the price. For that, we need face value. Assume the face value is 100. We need annual interest, which is equal to Let's say 14%. We have a period in air. It's gonna be, let's say, four years, let's say five years. And we have a coupon payment. It's gonna be, let's say, we have a coupon interest rate. 13% into, since we want payment, we can do it one more thing here. So, <coughs> coupon rate is equal to 0 0.13, 13%. All right, so what we will do for coupon payment, we're gonna say coupon rate, into all right so now bond price will be equal to n p f dot pv which is the present value of the bond price so we have annual interest Let's audit this formula. So, in order to get the present value of the bond, what we need, we need rate, we need n per, that is <coughs> period, we need per month payment, we need future value, which is, is uh, by default zero. So, that's the important thing we are required. So we can take an example here and see how it's look like. Now the present value is computed by solving the equation. So we have all this information readily available. All we need to do is we just need to plug it in and then we will be good to go. So, so what I'm going to do here is annual interest comma, period, thinking there could be some error or once we will run the file. So better to do it in this way. All right, and we need 
coupon payment. And the last thing we need face value. So I'm running it <coughs> and then I'll show you how it will look like. So one price. Okay. So all we need to do is we need to multiply it with negative one in order to get the correct bond price. Since our coupon rate is lower than the annual yield, that's why this bond is in discount. So the moment we are going to increase the coupon payment, let's say 14.1, let's see what will happen. So now this is in premium. All right, we can automate this uh, bond price calculation in function as well. So let me know if you are looking for the function as well. If you are after function, so I can convert this manual calculation into function, and then you will be able to calculate the bond price uh, by just putting these information. Hope you like the video. Let me know if there is anything. And in the next video, I'm going to calculate the yield to maturity of the bond. And then uh, in the following videos, I will calculate price value, basis point, duration, modified duration, and convexity. Stay tuned. Please subscribe my channel and please share it with your friends and colleagues so they can also get the benefit if you are getting. Thank you so much.